Well, shoot, I guess I've had different ideas. All right, we're going to continue on with our call lessons. Uh, what I want to talk about next is uh, we're just going to move into the hen greeting, greeting call. And uh, uh, basically, I like to run it out five to seven notes. Uh, start off, you know, loud and aggressive. <clears throat> Excuse me. And taper off as, as it goes. And uh, there's, again, I like to talk about vocalization when I'm blowing a call. And I'm going to give you some really silly demonstrations of what I mean uh, vocalizing into a call. But it's really, if you think about it, how we use our language and how we talk and communicate, it's the same thing I'm doing in a duck call. And that's what we got to learn. It's not, you're not always putting that same grunt, that same growl, that same noise into the call. You change it and make it different. <clears throat> so I'm going to start off with uh, doing a, a greeting call, five to seven notes. And what, how I like to do this and how I start, uh, guys, I, I like to say either ain't or ank into the call. And uh, I taper off in volume and pressure as I go down, just like a hen mallard does when she's calling. She runs out of air because she's got lungs about the size of my thumb. But, uh, so listen, as, as we uh, get into this, you're going to bring the air up from your diaphragm like you're fogging a mirror. Don't pinch it in the back of your throat. We're going to go, ain't, 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 ain't. This is what it sounds like in the call. As you, as you heard, started off kind of strong and loud and tapered off. Now, from that greeting, uh, to really you know, sound like a bunch of different ducks, we're going to start changing our vocalization. Uh, we're going to say ain't, we're going to say ank, I'm going to say it high pitched, I'm going to say it low pitched, and we're going to try to sound like a bunch of different ducks. Now, for an example, I'm going to uh, do this outside of the call and show you the vocalizations so you can hear them in my voice. All right, so I start off, I go, ain't, ain't, I know that sounds silly. It probably looks ridiculous, but, uh, I mean, that's how you start to really control a call. You get these different vocalizations and use it into the call, open and close, tighten down, blow hard, soft, you know. Uh, you have to learn how to control the duck call, and the only way to do it is to learn how to make different sounds watch the ducks and try to do what they do. So I'm just going to go through a little sequence here with some different greeting calls. That's kind of how we uh, start working a duck call. Use your vocalizations, get those different sounds, just practice. <laughs> 